Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you know, I am a Christian. I am a man of God. I, I, I love Christianity. I think all its values are important. I think they're important for society and it is part of the reason why America is so incredibly great because it's engraved in our constitution. Now there are people out there who don't like Christianity. <laughs> bad it's fine you can believe in whatever you want i know people who like polytheism some people are atheists some people believe in different religions than i do and that's completely fine okay i'm a very reasonable person i don't care if you believe one thing or the other just as long as you're respectful of other people's opinions and if you have something to say about it say it in the most respectful way possible if not i understand because i do the same exact thing either way there is this thing called satanism now i've heard a little bit i've had people say oh satan satanism is not that bad i was really curious on to what they believe in and what their beliefs are. I assumed it might be something about Satan, but I feel like I might be completely incorrect. But me and you are going to go to the Satanist temple. What? That is a website. And I'm going to set that up right now. So here it is, a satanic temple. Such a it's such a friendly name for such a beautiful website, I assume. All right, let's click on it. No going back. Let's see what's going to come up. It'll load. Is I have bad internet? Come on, not loading. Okay, I just have bad internet. Okay, here it goes, it's loading up. Okay, there's there's goat heads. Why do they think that this like, this font and this black and red is like some edgy cool thing? I, I just, honestly, I feel, just looking at, at this, I feel like I should be doused in holy water just looking at this, it's just, oh shivers down my spine all right but we're 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 here for an imp important journey we need to figure out what these satanists believe in and if we can join membership how can i join how do you join you go to the join us page that's pretty pretty obvious what are the benefits of joining now i would assume you get to sacrifice goats but i could be wrong the benefits of joining depend joining depend on what you want to do with your membership Okay. Joining on our website will put you on our mailing list so that you can stay up to date to our activities of sacrificing little children. Oh, it says activities and campaigns of sacrificing little children. If you want your membership to be even more rewarding, consider becoming an active in a chapter or contributing to the mission of the Satanic Temple in other ways. A list of our chapters can be found here. Nothing too juicy yet. Information news. Are there age restrictions? Okay, this is important. I kind of want to know if there's age restrictions because if you guys don't know, I'm like eight. There are no age restrictions. So if you wanted to sign up your five-year-old to the Satanic temple and scar them for life you can i want to sell my soul get rich join the illuminati etc i mean don't we all don't we all let's let's, let's say please look elsewhere okay so the satanic temple says no to that they don't want your soul even though satan is their mascot they do not want your soul so what's what's look let's really look juicy like what's their beliefs here so where where can we look for good beliefs um reach out to them i, I don't see my chapter listed in the city do you worship satan that's an important question do you worship satan Satan. Considering that you use Satan as your mascot and he's plastered all over your website, I mean, if you consider, depending on what variant of the devil you believe in, I would assume yes. Okay, so do you worship Satan? No. Nor do we believe in his existence of Satan or the supernatural. The Satanic Temple believes that religion can and should be divorced from superstition. As such, we do not promote a belief in personal Satan. To embrace the name Satan is to embrace rational inquiry removed from supernaturalism. Satanists should actively work to hone critical thinking and exercise reasonable agnosticism in all things. Our beliefs must be malleable to the best current scientific understandings of the material material world never reverse these people just sound like very extreme atheists and they want attention okay so i'm not finding anything too juicy do you promote evil no the satanic temple holds the basic premise that undue suffering is bad so no sacrificing goats that's bad that's that's bad stuff. Satan is a symbol of the internal rebel in opposition to arbitrary authority. Oh, that makes sense. So the satanic temple, they have a mascot because he's a rebel. 
And I, I remember hearing from an individual that they said that Satanists have this individualistic viewpoint where it's like, okay, I am my, I am myself and that is all that matters. God shouldn't be involved in the conversation. God shouldn't be involved in government, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Ironically though, the Satanists who complained about Christianity being government, they talked about, uh, I think it was, I can't remember what state it was. Maybe New Jersey could be completely wrong. I'm probably wrong. They had the 13 commandments on a state states a states it was a government it was a government property the satanist complained saying hey if that can be up why can't we put our satanic statue up but the whole idea of the satanic temple at least this one and the satanist movement is that government and religion should be separate which would be absolutely a horrible idea because then nothing could really raid you by what your rights really mean so your rights would be not inalienable they would just be hey one human determined that we should have these rights but why should we listen to that one human because they're just me and you and if i'm a human too maybe i can disagree and why should we listen to them so that's why i don't agree with it but okay belief should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world one should take care of never to distort scientific facts with one's beliefs now i do understand this they like to think that this idea is that science is different from religion the first developing scientists the, the most sophisticated of their time were christian so, I mean, I think that you can be a scientist and be Christian, but the problem is if we're all equal and we're all humans, why should I have to listen to that individual? What makes that individual so perfect? Why do they get to create rights? Why can't I create rights? Why can't I create a right that you can kill someone as long as you're angry at them? Well, if these are the things that maybe some people wouldn't agree with, but with, with time, it could be a thing, right? Back then, some things were a little more crazy and vulgar than today's society, and we would agree that those things were kind of screwed up like putting people in, in in metal cows and burning them to death would probably be considered a real disgusting thing to do to an individual that we would never agree with on today's standard but there's humans out there who think torture is probably completely fine i don't know what do you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh sorry for taking so long to create it i i just i, I have school and stuff but i'm gonna crack out more stuff and i hope you guys enjoy the video i'll see you guys next time